All right, welcome to the course. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll be your instructor today. In this video, I wanna spend just a couple of quick minutes talking about all the tools that we're gonna need for this course. Now, luckily, HTML requires absolutely no special tools. You know, with most programming languages, Ruby, you have to download and install Ruby. Python, you have to download and install Python. Database stuff, MySQL, you have to download and install MySQL. Django, same thing, Node, same thing. HTML is totally different. It is built in, baked into every single web browser in existence. So it doesn't matter if you're using Chrome, Firefox, Safari, Opera, anything at all. HTML is already in there. It's already ready to work. There's nothing you need to do. So in order to write HTML code, code all you need is some sort of text editor, some sort of notepad, something to write on. And it doesn't even have to be a special text editor, though it should be. Uh, you know, you can use Windows Notepad, which is sort of ridiculous, but you could if you wanted to. So uh, in this video, I'm going to recommend the text editor that I'm going to use throughout this course. It's the Sublime Text Editor. So if you go to sublimetext.com, you can see a sort of a picture of it here. And this is nice because it's a coding text editor. It doesn't matter what programming language you're using. It'll sort of, you can see here, change color based on the different code that you write. And that's really nice and sort of useful in order to keep your code you know, more readable and stuff like that. So go ahead and download this. It's available for Windows, Mac, Linux. Doesn't matter what operating system uh, you're running. It's completely free. Um, but if you don't like Sublime Text for whatever reason, and it's one of the most popular ones, but another alternative is Notepad++. You can Google that. And you'll notice the, the big difference is this is sort of a white background where Sublime was black. Now you could change the color of both of these, but by default, Sublime comes black. Uh, Notepad++ comes white. Uh, let's see, Atom is another popular text editor. Vim, kind of a little bit more complicated. Uh, there's a Visual Studio code editor if you're a Microsoft person. I'm not sure if it's free or not, but like I said, I'm gonna use Sublime Text for this course. In fact, I could pull it up right here. And this is it, it's just a basic text editor. You can write stuff and you can see already it's starting to change colors, which is cool. Uh, one of the nice things about this is if you go to view and then syntax, you can see you can use this for any programming language you like. Right now we've got HTML selected. I didn't even need to do that. It just sort of guessed that I was doing HTML. So that's cool. Uh, you can see Rails, Python, PHP, Perl, JavaScript, whatever you like, you can do in Sublime Text. So uh, definitely check that out. You're going to need to use some text editor. You might as well use this one sort of to follow along with me. And so it's, you know, just easier to follow. So I think that's all for this video. In the next video, we're going to jump right in and start learning HTML.